creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video today i'm here to share with you part of my new journal collection uh i'm sharing four journals with you today i do have others that are in various stages of completion but i've been promising these to you uh, especially to my patrons for a while now uh, so I figured I would share with you what I already have done and then the rest of the collection will trick trickle in in the months to follow as I finish them. So I did want to mention, if you're seeing this video, these are on sale in my Etsy shop as we speak. So head on over there. If they're already sold out, I do apologize. <laughs> I know many of you are, were waiting for them, so sometimes that happens. If you'd like to be the first to know when they go up you can uh follow me over on my patreon or sign up for my free uh insider newsletter which is linked in the description box below because my patrons and my newsletter insiders get a uh, notification first on when these things go out they also get notified of sales uh new videos sometimes you get access to things early so uh, if that sounds like something you'd be interested, go ahead and check the description box below uh, for the sign-up link to that. So, without further ado, let's get into the journal flips. Alright, so if you want any specifics on these journals, exactly what size it is, uh, pages, so on and so forth, uh, you can check out the listing over on Etsy, but this first one I have is an A5 insert style. This is a Midori MD cover that I recycled, and what I did was I went ahead and hand drew and painted in all of these sketchy stars in a black acrylic paint. So it's just a really, really fun cover, at least I think it is, uh, and I love the sketchy stars. So uh, pretty obsessed with this one and I hope you guys love it too so let's get into here we have pockets of course scrapbooking paper I'm obsessed with this holographic moon paper this is some presentation paper these are filled with lots and lots of different kinds of paper some vintage ledger vintage book pages from an astrology book Midori MD paper, great for watercoloring and things. Some regular ledger paper. I put in some black cardstock in these because I thought that would be a lot of fun to work on. This is a vellum pocket. Black cardstock. Lined Midori MD paper. More cardstock. More MD paper. Um, ledger paper. Scrapbooking paper. Graph paper. And then this is like a watercolor type paper. I don't really know what it is. Somebody gave me this paper and I've yet to figure it out, but it's like super textured on one side and kind of smooth on the other. It's not like 100% watercolor paper because I the water kind of sinks into it weird. It's just something fun to experiment with. So that's a little flip out. Um, and if you liked that paper, I have some that you can purchase uh, in a bundle. So if that's something you'd like, just send me a message and I will hook you up with that. But yeah, this is just like my regular handmade inserts. This one's only one signature. Everything's a little imperfect. Uh, all different types of paper types and sizes and stuff because this is what I like to work in. So that's what I have for you. So that's the first sketchy star insert. Next we have this crescent moon insert with this little charm at the bottom. It's a little hope charm. It's just connected to the uh, sewing of the book in the middle. So it's not really, you can have it on the top or the bottom, but it shouldn't really bother you too much because it just barely hangs out. If you didn't like it, you could just cut it off or use it somewhere else if you want to put it on your keys or whatever. So this is another insert style book. This one has a reinforced spine with this black book binding tape so it makes it kind of extra sturdy and so again along the same lines here we have some of those book pages, some of that presentation paper, ledger paper, 
This is a tea dyed scrapbooking paper, envelopes, Majority MD paper, some of that weird watercolor like paper I was talking about, black cardstock. This one has a little tuck spot. Vintage ledger, vellum, another packet, more tea dyed scrapbooking paper, graph paper. This is the center with that little charm. Like I said, you can do top or bottom. Yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy how these came out. I really, really like how they came out. I think they're just super fun. And you could use them for a variety of uses. You could use it like a regular journal. Uh, if you're into more like a, if you're into astrology, you could take notes in it, do more of a spiritual practice, a uh, book of shadows, whatever, whatever your fancy is. All right, so next we have this soft cover fabric journal. So it's soft cover, but it is structured. So it'll hold up to some wear and tear and it's not gonna get all flimsy on you. Uh, these are some of my favorite journals to make these fabric cover journals. So inside you just have the black card stock. This one's a little bumpy uh, just cause of the, you know, nature of handmade things. So this one has three signatures, a bit chunkier. And one of the reasons that I love the soft cover journals is because they like mold around your book. So as your journal gets chunky, um, I mean, when it gets crazy chunky, obviously, just like all journals, it's annoying to work on. But with the fabric journals, I feel like it accommodates for the bulk a little bit better. And you can kind of extend the life of your journal a little bit because of how it works. Like, say, for instance, you're in this last signature here. If you were having trouble writing, you could literally, like, take it and flip the book. And now you don't have all that book bulk on this side where you can write and do whatever and it's not going to destroy your cover because it's made to like do things like that. It also will mold around so even though this is stiff as it kind of bulks up your cover will just mold with it. Um, I hope that makes sense. So really love really love the soft cover journals for that reason. I'm not gonna go over all the papers because they're the same as in <laughs> the other journals, but of course this one has more of them. So yeah, really, really fun. Love those vellum pockets. Let me know what you prefer down below. Do you like the inserts, the fabric cover journals, or the hard cover journals more? Uh, I'd love to know. I have a little bit of everything. Um, this is also an A5 size. I didn't know. Don't know if I mentioned that. I think this whole release is A5, but I do have some B6s uh, and some standard in the works. If that's more your style, just to uh, hold on, they're coming eventually. So there's that. So that is the A5 Planet Soft Cover one. And then last but not least for this release, we have a hard cover one. You guys ask me to make more hard cover journals all the time. So I'm happy to finally be able to bring you one. Uh, the I make my hard cover journals out of salvaged books uh, and I do clean them. When I cleaned this one, the dye came off a little bit. So you will see some streaks, but it's just, um, it's just how things dried. So anyway, uh, I reinforced the spine, made a new spine. Uh, it's wrapped in this same uh, planet fabric. Uh, this one is a little stiff, so you're going to have to kind of bend it back. You won't break it uh, to train it to lay flat here. 
but as you can see uh, with a little use and working with it some more uh, it will learn to lay flat better it's just because uh, the glue is still so new uh, and of course I don't want to break in your journal for you this one has seven signatures it also has a lot of this uh, gorgeous lined paper in it uh, tea dye paper this one is stacked to the gills again you can use these for whatever you want oh this one also has stalgy paper in it uh, and you'll find little numbers in the corner I like to use papers from like journals that I haven't finished so I'll take them apart and use the extra pages in my junk journals I say that loosely because they're not made of junk but they do have those eclectic papers so I guess they're creative journals right so I have <laughs> I like to use those papers in my creative journals so this is what this one looks like this paper again one of my favorites and I used pages from several different paper pads so if you want to know what a specific one was from I'm sorry I probably won't be able to remember <laughs> Uh, yeah so even if you're finding this in the future or the one you wanted was gone or you're not really in the market for a journal I hope that these flip throughs inspired you maybe to make your own journal I do have a DIY journal series it's several years old at this point uh, but it's still as uh, people are still finding it helpful which is great so if you want to check that out I have that in a playlist on my channel and I'll link that at the end of this so you can check that out this one is definitely already bulky and will <laughs> will get bulkier with use so if you like writing this might be a good one for you if you write and then you just do a little bit of <laughs> of journaling or if you don't mind the chunk you can always also take signatures out I do that sometimes if you think this is going to be too bulky for you what you can do is find the middle of a signature I wouldn't do ones together but snip these strings you will have to once you snip it um, pull the pages straight out and then you'll have to like trim down the strings against the spine because it's a hidden binding and the strings are glued back here but so don't please don't rip it out but if you wanted to cut these and take out a signature um, you could really do that and then use the pages for collage or whatever it's your journal just giving you some ideas but anyway this is the collection that I have for you today I did also just list a bunch of vintage envelope packs in my shop my aunt came across another big lot of envelopes and I was finally able to restock those to you guys it's been Oh gosh probably a couple years now but I'm so excited to have more to share with you they're super fun looking and there's even some blank ones that were never used so that was pretty cool and yeah I think that I have to share with you uh, new sticker kits coming out soon I still have a couple D stash lots left in there there's lots and lots in the shop so um, go check it out even if you're not interested in a journal just have a breeze around and gather some inspiration for yourself and maybe do a little shopping all right you guys thank you so much for being here i will see you guys again soon um give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know down below what kind of journal you prefer using uh insert soft cover hard cover um let me know i'd love to know and i will catch you guys again soon take care guys Bye.